Good morning, Richmond students. These are your morning announcements for January 15th, 2021. I'm Savannah Mon. And I'm Mackenzie Strickler. We will soon be returning to the castle and with that means some changes to the way students check out books from the library. Students will make the request for books via the Destiny catalog online and Ms. Craycroft will be delivering books to their English classrooms on Wednesdays and Thursdays each week. Books will be returned in their English classrooms as well. All books returning to the library will be placed on the 72 hour hold before going back into circulation. Join Mrs. Craycraft today as she reads Dress Codes for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens. Check in during your lunch to get a sneak peek of this great book. This event takes place during your lunch, so settle in, enjoy your lunch, and listen to another great book. You can attend this event by going to the RHS Library Media Services page and selecting the First Chapter Fridays tab. Congratulations to the staff of the Richwood Excalibur for winning the following awards in the IJEA Yearbook Competitions for the 2020 Yearbook. Graphics second in place, copywriting third place, layout and design third place, theme development third place, sports coverage honorable mention, coverage of the year honorable mention. Mrs. Emkin with an overview of Richwood's return to school plan. Back nights this week, we will all return to in-person instruction starting Tuesday, January 19th. We will welcome our B-Day students back into the castle. And on Wednesday, January 20th, we will welcome back our A-Day students back into the castle. We can't wait to see you. Today, we're going to go through some back to school, some return to school information and reminders for you. The topic we're going to cover is the arrival process. Our main doors will open at 7 a.m. Students, please enter through your assigned entrance. Our 9th, 10th, and bus riding students will enter through the main entrance. Our 11th grade students will enter through the 100 hallway doors. And our 12th grade students will enter through the 500 hallway doors. Look for signs that are posted on the building of where you need to enter. Once you arrive inside the building, all students will have a wellness check where your temperature is taken and you are asked a series of wellness questions. There's also a security checkpoint and then you will grab a grab and go breakfast and you can eat that grab and go breakfast in the cafe or the terrazzo. Classroom doors do not open until 715 so you will need to remain in the main commons area before the hallway doors open at 715. And first hour starts promptly at 730 a.m. Any students that are arriving after 745 a.m. need to enter through the main doors and go through the main office. All students are required to wear a mask upon entering the building. Masks are required at all times. Students will also practice social distancing and maintain six feet of distance between one another. Social distancing tape will be on the floors to indicate six feet of distance, along with directional arrows to show you which way to go in each hallway. All students will dismiss at 1240. Students will dismiss through the following doors. 9th, 10th, and any students being picked up will exit through the main doors. 11th grade students will exit through the 100 hallway doors. 12th grade students will exit through the 500 hallway doors. And students riding the bus will exit in the back of the school building through the 300 hallway doors. Students will also receive a grab and go lunch on their way out of the building to enjoy at home. We will begin a new bell schedule starting Tuesday, January 19th. The new bell schedule allows for 40 minute class periods and five minute passing periods. Even though students will not be stopping at their lockers during passing periods, this will allow students time to follow the directional arrows in the hallway and get to each class safely and socially distanced. All individuals in the school building are required to wear a mask. Students will be provided with one cloth mask from their first hour teacher. No gaiters, neck coverings, or masks with vents will be allowed. Students can wear disposable or cloth masks. For the safety of everyone, please do not come to school if you are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 
or have been exposed. Individuals who exhibit symptoms during the school day will be escorted to a quarantine location and parents notified. Students who are on quarantine can continue to work with their teachers and continue learning from home. A few reminders regarding classroom and building protocol. Staff and students need to practice social distancing by maintaining six feet of distance. There are stickers on the floor to indicate six feet of distance in common locations, such as the main office or the restrooms. Hallways and common areas will be marked with arrows to indicate traffic flow. And assigned seating will occur whenever possible. Staff and students who exhibit symptoms during the school day will be sent home immediately or receive antigen testing. Students can only receive antigen testing if they have turned in a consent form to the main office. Anyone who refuses antigen testing will need to report home if they are having symptoms during the school day. Students will be provided with a grab-and-go breakfast and lunch. Students will receive a grab-and-go breakfast between 7 and 7.45 upon arrival to school. Students may eat in the terrazzo or the cafeteria. Students will also receive a grab-and-go lunch at dismissal to eat at home. Friendly reminder, students, please make sure that you are maintaining social distancing in the restrooms or waiting to use the restrooms. Masks are required while waiting and inside all restrooms. Lockers will not be utilized during second semester. Students will be allowed to carry book bags to each class period. Book bags will be checked during security checkpoints each morning. Students have been issued a Peoria Public Schools stream and we encourage you to bring that stream device to school each day. Our stream devices that are checked out through Richwoods are more efficient and connect quickly to the internet. You can choose to bring your own device. However, there may be a delay in connecting to our internet each day. So if you still need to check out one of our devices, it's not too late. And last but not least, we are going to start off our return to school with a spirit day. We will have a spirit day on Tuesday, January 19th for our B-Day students, and we will have a spirit day on Wednesday, January 20th for our A-Day students. Students, make sure to wear your gear or school colors, green wigs, stickers, beads, the whole shebang. We are going to show up and we are going to make up for the past year of no spirit. So show up on your first day of school ready to celebrate. We look forward to seeing everyone in person next week. And now for your moment of silence. Please join Mrs. Emkin for our pledge, mission, and vision. Please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for our mission and vision. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our mission. Here at Richwoods High School, a diverse community of learners with a rich tradition of excellence, I will actively participate in a safe and enriching learning environment where my needs and aspirations are customized. I will accomplish academic success, experience personal growth, and increase social responsibility. And now for our vision, I will graduate Richwoods High School college and career ready. I am the standard of excellence. These have been your morning announcements for January 15th. I'm Savannah Mon. And I'm Mackenzie Strickler. Have a fantastic Friday and a safe weekend, Richwoods.